So the story behind the poster um, is that I really love heist films. You know, films like Point Break, the Heat. Heat's one of my favourite films. Actually. Uh, you know, the the beginning of... Um, Batman, you know, I absolutely loved that intro with the Joker wearing the mask. What I wanted with the poster was this idea of this car chase that had kind of gone off a bridge and that they were all kind of cascading down and the original sketches of it was going to be much more uh, kind of epic with the kind of like a whole scene of cars and, and all sorts falling down. But the kind of the camera angle was kind of way more pulled back and what I really wanted with this poster after doing various versions of it was to really focus in on these three characters and it's slightly inspired by Coen Brothers films I really love Coen Brothers and like with all their films they have this kind of uh, narrative where someone's searching for something that they can never get all of their films there, there's always this ch kind of chasing a dream that doesn't exist and that's kind of one of with these with these villains is that they've kind of cascading down and all the money's kind of flowing out of their bags and the police are kind of on you know from their own kind of duty or to sort of pursue this chase to the bitter end and they're all kind of cascading down into kind of like this fiery kind of hell and so these characters with their masks on I really love masks you know I've got quite a few in my collection you know I've got the um, Guardians of the Galaxy helmet Star-Lord helmet that's quite fun that I've got you know various masks all over the place and I like the idea that behind these masks that their faces aren't probably very much different and the way the poster's printed is uh, it's about a nine color print um started off with this red background and then i did this black layer but i kind of call it a granite black because what i do is i mix a very small amount of silver in which gives it this black that flex to it the special edition was on red foil and uh you know it's sort of a, a different effect because of the way that the ink sits on the red foil but this was a special edition of um 50 and then I did 50 for myself um, and then this was uh, an edition of 230 for the band and then I did 100 for myself hand printed so uh, there was probably about 4,000 repetitions by hand to make these posters make this poster edition I do that all by myself ah, 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 ah. Um, I would say probably the the highlight uh, was when they brought out songs for the deaf. I think you know that was such an amazing mixture between you know Dave Dave Grohl on drums, Mark Lanigan doing some fantastic vocal tracks, and you know Josh you know uh, just just amazing guitar and lyric structures. Um, but I think one of the things that I've liked most about Queens of the Stone Age was when they brought out their desert sessions. Um, you know, amazing collaborations with people like BJ Harvey and, uh, you know, God, there's so many collaborations. And then throughout the whole desert sessions, um, series, I think, you know, you see some really interesting glimpses of kind of music, uh, really experimental music that you kind of hear later on in, in Queens of the Stone Ages albums. The heavy guitar riffs, but then with the kind of melodic falsetto singing mixed in with some really kind of punky, you know, bass lines that Nick Oliveri brought in. I don't know how, I've, should I try and say that more succinctly? No, that's good. No? <laughs> 